What's up Land Shark Nation? Victor here checking in and in this week's Tackle Tuesday I'm going to share with you guys my favorite time of year to shark fish off the beach and keep in mind this is specific to Florida and this is generally towards South Florida but the same trends are basically on the west coast and the Panhandle area. So my absolute favorite time of year to fish is springtime. These include the months of March, April and May. This is where your window of opportunity to catch an absolute giant hammer, bull or tiger is going to be. The only thing about springtime that makes it difficult to fish is you still have those late winter cold fronts. So when those come through, it usually shuts the fishing down for a couple of days before and after the front, as well as it could be really rough this time of year because you have those really strong southeast winds. But if you guys can make it out there, March, April, May, you guys fish hard, you have a really good shot at a nice fish, and your shot at getting a giant hammer it, it is this time of year for sure. March, April, May, hit it hard. Okay, so now let's move into summertime. So this is June, July, and August. Early summer is still pretty good. The size of your fish are generally gonna start to get smaller. You might have an increase in the amount of numbers, so you might be catching a lot more of those summertime bulls and lemons, but they're generally not gonna be as big. Those springtime fish are a lot sturdier, bigger fish. You still have big hammers around, but there's a lot less of them than there were in the springtime. And then towards late summer, August, it really starts to die down. Like August, we don't even fish. August is probably the worst month out of the year to fish. Now let's move into fall. Fall is the months of September, October, and November. The mullet run falls smack dab in the middle of fall. And with the mullet run brings a lot of spinner, spinner sharks and black tip sharks. So you can bring your casting gear out there, you don't even have to go paddle out baits, you can just cast off the beach and you're going to be thick in the spinner and black tip sharks. Not so much good for hammers, tigers, bulls. These species, I mean we generally don't even fish in the fall, but I have heard very few caught during this time of year. And one reason for that is simply you just can't fish. Like right now for the last three weeks there's been a northeast wind and you just can't paddle like it is just so rough this time of year we start to get our first cold fronts those northeast winds so not only does it make the fishing pretty impossible and on top of it you have loads and loads of bluefish moving down the beach and if your baits will not last in the water the bluefish will just rip the shreds now let's move into winter time so now you have december january february early winter is not too good. December, still nothing, not much around. And then you move into January and February, and this is smack dab middle of the black tip and spinner shark migration on the east coast. And for you west coast guys, you have the sandbar migration. So during this time of year is when you first start to see a, those big hammerheads come in. Those big hammerheads follow the spinner sharks and the black tip sharks on the beach. They follow those schools and they stage around those schools and this is the first time you're gonna to start to see those big fish caught. You might not see them landed, you might see black tips getting cut in half, you might hear stories of guys getting black tips cut in half, and it's those giant hammers that are doing it. So winter time, go ahead, bring your casting gear to the beach, bring your big spinning reels, your big spinning rods, and cast baits off the beach. It is the easiest time of the year to catch a shark because there are so many spinners and black tip sharks off the beach this time of year. I get asked this question all the time, when are the best times I can go shark fishing? When is the best time to catch a hammerhead? When is the best time to do this? These are the guidelines that I told you. It doesn't necessarily mean you won't catch a giant in the middle of October or in the middle of September or another time that I told you that it's not good. But these are just guidelines to help you guys. You never know unless you have a line in the water and the moral of the story is to just keep fishing. You guys gotta notice these trends for yourselves. Nobody taught us, we learned this all ourselves just through years and years of just doing it and just paddling baits and paddling baits and keeping notes and logs of moon and everything. And these are the trends that we've come up with. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this Tackle Tuesday. If you did like the Tackle Tuesday, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions, comment down below, don't hesitate. And I'll be seeing all you guys in my land sharks in that next Tackle Tuesday.